Okay, so um, it finished uh, exporting out. I actually went back and changed the uh, precision down to a uh, lower precision because I am only using a laptop and I would like this stuff to go a little bit faster than uh, eternity. <laughs> so um, let's go back into Maya. Uh, let's go ahead and import our new OBJ. Uh, so that's our volcano mountain thingy. And uh, now that it's a bit lower resolution, uh, it should be a bit faster. Great, look at that beautiful mountain. Uh, and then we're also gonna need a couple of materials to uh, do this. So let's go to bridge um, and export out some uh, materials. So um, I already have bridge set up to export out to Maya um, and since Arnold is already selected as the render engine it should automatically uh, export out uh, Arnold ready materials in Maya and we'll get two fairly different looking materials so that we can tell the difference pretty easily um, and now we'll go back into Maya see if it worked look at that looks great uh, let's go ahead and um, get some projection nodes in there so that we can use our splat maps as masks so that we can have um, more repeatable, uh, tileable materials uh, that we can artificially uh, shrink and grow so that it has a better resolution of texture on the mesh itself rather than relying on the UV. So. We'll click on the mesh, um, we'll assign a new material, we'll just add an Arnold standard surface. Uh, we will go and add a color, um, and instead of left clicking on the file uh, section here, we're gonna go ahead and right click and create as projection. Um, now we're gonna go into the three place 3D texture part of the node. Um, we'll rotate it by negative 90 so it'll be above our uh, mountain rather than below. Uh, we'll fit to group BB box um, and now we have a projection that fits nicely over our mountain. So now we'll go back to the hypershade and uh, we'll start working with what we've got. So let me just find where my uh, projection guy went because I want him uh, so there's my projection node. I'm going to have him selected and then the two materials that I want to use and uh, open those up. So I don't need the rest of this standard surface material stuff, so I'll just disconnect them and move that out of the way. Uh, and then bring this uh, projection stuff up here to use. Uh, and next we're going to blend these materials uh, using the mix shader from Arnold. Um, and then we will go ahead and use the rocky ground mat here as the base uh, texture or the base material. So we'll slide that into uh, shader one. And then uh, mossy forest floor, we'll make the, uh, the secondary uh, one on top and we'll make that shader two. Uh, and now here's the important part that uh, took off a while to find or to figure out. So, um, I uh, separated out my channels uh, for my splat maps because I just want to use it as a mask for each one. Um, and it's just easier for me to keep things separated in my head if it's all separated out in the files. So um, I make sure to, for the out color, instead of just selecting the entire out color, I have to open this up and I have to do out color R because my texture information uh, will be in the red channel, but I actually need to put it in there first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select my splat map that I want to use. So that'll be splat map two. You can see it's just red for the red channel uh, that's in there. And um, yeah, it, you gotta take that red right here and put that into the mix up here. Now um, that should be uh, the way that it's masking out. So. Um, Let's go ahead and throw a dome light in here and do a really quick, really fast render and see if that does what we wanted. So um, let's go ahead and create a light. We'll create an Arnold light. So let's go to the Arnold tab and we'll make a sky dome light. Um, 
then we'll get an HDR, which I already have in my uh, demo folder that is set up. So this is just some nice HDR from uh, HDRI Haven. Um, shout out to the Dutch for always getting us cool free things. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see uh, what we can do. Let me s just scoot this down a bit so that if we see it in the horizon, it looks a little bit more natural, just a smidge, or because we'll see it in the horizon, I just want it to be a bit more natural. So let's uh, aim our camera a bit and um, let's save because I have crashed this tutorial this evening, thus the saves here. So let's make another one because we love our save iterations and um, let's try a render. Let's see what happens. So um, I want to render kind of just a little bit of an area. I don't need the whole thing. Um, and um, yeah, we can just run IPR, I think that's okay. And we'll see what happens.